Hey everyone, it's Kate. Um, I just wanted to take a minute to show you this discovery call workaround. Um, there have been a lot of questions about it lately and I've been tagging people in a post, but it's in like some sub comments on a thread. So sometimes it's hard to find. So um, I'm just going to make this post about this workaround. So um, a lot of times we want to send a follow-up email um, to get a client or a lead to book a discovery call or some other call. Um, and that is not a trigger in Dubsado yet. So here is the workaround that I recommend using. So um, you can see I've got this very simple workflow here just to demonstrate this. So the first step is going to be sending the appointment scheduler. Then we are going to have a follow-up email scheduled to go just two days after we've sent it. So this will happen automatically no matter what this email will go. So then um, we obviously don't want that email to go if they do book. So here's our workaround is that we want to pause the workflow um, after an appointment is scheduled. But if we want more um, automations to happen based on that appointment being booked, then we need to start another workflow. So I know I just talked about those out of order, but I kind of wanted to talk about the reasoning and the logic behind how we get to this order of steps. Um, so we're going to start a new workflow immediately after an appointment is scheduled so that the automations will continue. Um, now, I have talked to Debs Auto Support, and I think it's okay if the start a workflow and the pause workflow are both immediately after the appointment is scheduled. Um, they have said that as long as it is sequenced correctly, it will still happen. That being said, I think we all know Debs Auto does not always fire perfectly. And so, you know, if you want to build in a little buffer there, um, then you can do that. So 0 0.016 is one minute. That's the decimal for one minute. So, um, you know, by saying that we're going to pause the workflow one minute after the appointment is scheduled, that really should get give Dubsado everything it needs to fire both of these actions. The other thing I want to talk about that I don't have an example to show necessarily is that likely we want whatever happens in our next workflow this in in this example case it's this done for you onboarding slash booked workflow we want those automations to continue most likely after the appointment maybe we're sending a questionnaire beforehand in which case we can just use you know after workflow started as the trigger within this new um workflow but for anything where it's like okay i want to send the proposal after the discovery call your new workflow is not going to know when the discovery call is because, because of this method that we're using. So the workaround that I use is just to put a to-do in the workflow that is like discovery call complete. And then you just check that off and then the workflow will continue. So it's not 100% automated, but I think that it's a reasonable amount of work for you or for your clients, um, which is really kind of why I wanted to make this. Um, you know, I, I would love for everyone to be able to use this method if they need it for themselves. But I also think that it's a fun like workaround um, to keep in mind as you're working with your clients. So I hope that this was helpful. If you have any extra questions about this method, um, go ahead and drop them in the uh, comments. So uh, have a great Sunday, everyone. Bye.